I think I'll ditch a wooden spoon. All right, so I just started recording uh, Grotto Beast. Awesome! This is version 2.1. 2.1, yep, beta 2.1. What we are doing right now is we've just uh, pretty much finished opening up some virtual Grotto Beast card packs, and we are going to be doing some doubles, so two 1v1 games at the same time. All right, I think uh, my deck is all ready. All right, I'm just about done. It's up here. Cool. All right, 12, 45 cards. Awesome. I'd like to buy that peep peep. Come come on to my shop. What would you like? Or what would you like to give for it, I mean? Um. Peep peep is every peep turn, peep. right? Yeah, every, yeah start, of, uh, 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 start of your turn, that is. Yeah, but every every turn, your yep. turn. Okay. Yes, it also has uh, has two health. Yeah, yeah, and nothing <laughs> else to go for. Tilly makes you saying the yes, yes at the ends makes me think of Tom Nook. <laughs> give, me some, give me some bells for your card there. <laughs> Kajit has wares if you have coin. Hmm. Reminder, I have cards for sale. Sale. <laughs> Mink has wares if you have coin. <laughs> um, honestly, I don't think I, I... I think my deck is pretty solid, right? Actually, um, here. Um, hmm. Ah. I'd quite like your Nova Blast, but I'm assuming you're going to use that. You'd give a, a Nova Blast for a peep peep? I could throw in something else if you want. For both peep peeps. Right. Um, both of them? Okay, uh, yeah, here we go. Two peep peeps for Nova Blast? Deal. <laughs> Someone didn't read the card rarity guides that were posted online. Alright, so I will ditch a freeze ray for a Nova Blast. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> you better have that pudding. All right, I think I am lock set and center on my card, so I'm closing yeah. up my shop. I'm just about done too. I just want to mark down which ones are, which card is my discard, and which one. Oh is yeah, my that's draw. a good idea. I'll do that too. Yeah, and the and the the normal mod it uh automatically does that. Yeah. Ah, oh, those emerald gauntlets, though. Ah, I don't think I have a place. They're super cool, but I don't think I have a place for them in my deck. All right, I am ready to go, Storm, if you are ready to go. Yep, just sorting out items and beasts into my two decks. Sure. <laughs> Garchopia says, pots, spoons, peep peep, you want it. It's yours, <laughs> my friend, as long as you have enough crystals. <laughs> <laughs> we, so Someone here who's good at video editing has got to do that with Morshu. It's so good. I love Morshu posts. They're, they're classic. I they're timeless. I might do that. That sounds like fun. <laughs> it's still around. Yeah, no, RTP is totally still yeah. a thing. Uh, the things won. Probably one of my favorites, like yes, back in the day. Yes, very good. And she's like even better now, so mm -hmm. highly recommend checking her out. Ceno Zero is, I think, the best for uh, uh, like TF2 SFM. Mm -hmm. They are their animation is just incredible and it's hilarious. And there's so many references in every single episode. They actually did a Germa one recently. Did you see the uh, the um, Thunder Mountain Ceno Zero one? No, I didn't. He's, it's, he's animated Jerma saying, the big thunder, the strong thunder, ra, za, and then he's like, what, what the fuck, Egypt? <laughs> oh, wait, no, I did see that. I did, did? see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, was, that was actually seen as zero. He's, he's really funny. He's so good at animation, too. And somehow he gets, he has a really, he has really good voice actors for, like, the TF2 classes, too. Like, he has, a, he did the, the, um, he did one for the soldier that was near perfect. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see Gentoo, you found your way into the game too. Well, it looks like we've got a full house tonight then. All right. Here, uh, let me make both of you guys game masters. Oh, I can only, we can only have one game master. 
All right, Mobergine and, and Gen 2, you guys have to fight to the death to decide who can, who's the game master. <laughs> Actually, wait, I have a better idea here. Um, here, we'll have player white and player brown. You are no longer oh. the master. Hey, what'd you do to me? What did I? Oh, sorry, I accidentally <laughs> sent you to the Shadow Realm. Let me put you back. All right, there we go. Uh, where are we putting our right, discard? Uh, oh, so uh, usually what I do is I have it so that, um, so if you want, you can label your decks. So I've just put this, that one there. Um, and uh, use the, the text tool, right? Usually you put special on top and uh, beast there. And then these two are the uh, corresponding discard piles. All right. Um, is there any way? Let me just do this. <laughs> Don't touch my discard tiles. No, don't, no touchy. I'll do it. <laughs> if you make my discard piles red, there will be hell to pay. <laughs> Just use the text tool! Hey, I'm not doing that, but I think it's very funny. R <laughs> <laughs> D! <laughs> Alright, you ready to get started? Yeah, oh, although if you want, you can label your two decks, which is beast and which is specials, just so you don't get them mixed up. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. No problem to make it. It's always so hard to make a, a deck when you've got so many cards. Let's just uh, get a little one of these. All right. Hey, where'd my text go? Hmm? I said, hey, where'd my text go? I just had it. Okay. Uh, please reverse your chart. Oh, somebody, oh, I think so, the, hold up, I'm gonna have to rewind a little, my apologies. There you go, everything's fixed. Alright, where was I? Oops. All right. All right. It seems like the standard game length these days is twenty crystals, so let's do that. Oh yeah, you are highly encouraged to draw on the table. <laughs> that should be fun, actually. <laughs> Any guesses? Oh, RGB, welcome. All right, you ready yeah, to start right playing, now, we... Jimmy? I think I am already. All right. So, um, yeah, let's do a 20 crystal game. So, yeah, I'll put the timer over there. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, draw your starting card, heart, uh, hand of six cards. Would you like to flip a coin to the side who goes first? Uh, sure. Go ahead. <laughs> oh. All right. Call it. Tails. Tails it is. Would you like to go first or second? I'll go second. All right, second player starts with two crystals. Oh. Yep. Uh, so the, we did, we changed the the things so that second player instead of getting an extra action, they just uh, get start with some crystals since the second player or the the first player has a bit of a board advantage. Okay. Yeah, RGB. Yeah, it's really good to to have you here. Uh, it's pretty good. We now you have uh, two decks, so you have some more control over which cards you're going to draw. Um, we've run read on the card designs. I think you'll find a lot of stuff that you think you'll, you'll think is pretty cool. All right, so let's get drawing. All right. All right, I'm going to mulligan this, and is that too greedy? Nah. Um, should I mulligan anything else? I'm also going to mulligan that. Okay, I can work with this. All right, so let us summon in the ceremonial chess piece. Today we'll be going for a cast iron knight. All right. Okay, so with that, uh, let's get to it. So I'm going to open by playing a sludge and a porcelain, and that'll be both of my actions.
I will warn you, Storm, this time I will be using 100% of my ultimate grotto power to destroy you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> All right. Ah, shit, I forgot how to rotate. Uh, Q and E. Right. I keep thinking R because, you know. <laughs> but nope, that's not how it works. He has the power of grotto magic and anime on my side. All right. Mm. And that's... Let entry plays. That's the pterodactyl much. is pretty good. Go. Someone's accidentally given me some cards, I think. This isn't my wooden spoon. All right, um, any other trinkets or things to play? Are you done there? Uh, yeah, I'm done. Cool. What is this wooden spoon doing? <laughs> okay, um, I am going to upgrade my sludge to an anabite. Mm. Summon effect, deal one damage to three beasts. So I'll put one there and one there and just skip the third damage. And then I will be moving up Porcelain. That's uh, kind of a waste of a card. And... Wait a minute, this has... Okay, I'm going to pull out with my finishing move on Proto Jammer. <laughs> Okay, uh, interesting way to use one of the most powerful cards in the game, but cool. <laughs> well, I, I'm, I'm trying. Yeah. Have I secretly failed the meta? I'm more confused than anything. <laughs> but hey, you do you. I've got like 15 of them in my deck. I'll be uh, like max like... three, I hope. <laughs> I know, I can't. Okay. <laughs> Is that all? Okay, then. Uh, yes, that will be my turn. Okay. So. Insane card creator screws him over in his own game. Four player Andy thinks he's a great game designer because four people play his game. One of them who is him. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of 4K Andy or 10 four player. Andy. Hmm. What's going on, Mo? Uh, have you been working on any of the decks with fan created beasts? RGB, we haven't added any um, fan created beasts just yet. Uh, but I think what the plan is is that Germa is going to come back on the eighth, I believe, which is just a couple days away. And once he comes back, I assume we'll be getting some news about uh, Grotto Beasts. Hopefully, among that news will be, "Wow, I among? sure do love this epic Grotto version that was made by you know the gang over at the Discord." Uh, full approval. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> Uh, but I did have to say that in a goofy, goofy voice uh, for it to sound realistic. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, it is your turn, Storm. By the way, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. That scenario: Jerma steals our idea. I don't think Jerma is going to steal our idea. I have faith in 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 Lord Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, I think I'll do that. Nice. <laughs> and then. Jeez, I don't know if I want to do this, though. You know, I will. Ooh. I'll move it up. Getting a little bit saucy with it. And then I think that'll be my turn. Cool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Too many cooks. Okay, there we go. Keep, the, keep, keep there your we go. hands off of Storm's cards, Jimmy. Yeah, I'm all set. Okay. Cool, then. All right. Hmm. All right, I will upgrade Porcelain to Sneezy and use its summon ability to exhaust your Pterodactyl. Hmm. And then I will move up my Anabite. Okay. And that will be my turn. Well, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Definitely like that. That's fun. That's a lot of fun. Gonna get hit with, gonna get hit with my slam. Somehow, I still can't actually kill it though because I don't. It's got the defense and the antibodies. 
physical attack. Wow, uh, I, I, I guess I pass. No. You can always like. Do you not have any one stars in your hand at least? None that I want to play right now. Really? Yeah. All right. It, uh, it's the, it's you, very hard to do when the only beast on the board is exhausted. You can just retreat and recuperate and then come oh, back No, because later. I can't move. Well, right now you can't move, but... Yeah, and that's... that's a problem. Oh, sorry, Tilly Mix. The max amount of cards, you can have up to three copies of any card, and between your beast and special deck, it has to add up to 45 cards. All right, I guess I play Proto Jammer. Cool. And then... Then I'm going to mm. upgrade it to Hypno Days. Oh, so it has to be unexhausted to upgrade, unfortunately. What? Oh my yeah. god. Okay, so I, I guess I... Wow, I literally cannot do anything whatsoever. It has to be upgraded to exhaust... Oh. The reason for that is just to stop you from going from one to three star in a single turn. Yeah. Well, this fucking sucks. <laughs> I literally... I'm... I can't do anything. Um, I think Sneezy's ability might be way too strong. <laughs> yeah, I, I, because I, I will concede that I did not expect uh, Exhausting to be that strong, but in the early game, especially considering it's on a two-star, I also think this should be a three-star ability. So yes. if it's all right with you, since we are just playtesting here, I'm okay just skipping Sneezy's ability. Okay, I, yeah, I would really appreciate that. Yeah. Um... This is the first. This is our really our, our first time properly checking the balance of a lot of cards. Yeah, because otherwise, like I wouldn't be able to do anything for the next couple turns. Yeah. Um, thankfully, it is only on summon. Yeah, I, I'm glad it, it used to be in action, and that was just. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Yes, I suppose I'll use Paradoctal to attack Anybite. All right, so that's two damage. Indeed. And then that will be my turn. Cool. Cool. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. I will start. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to start by... Hmm, there's a couple ways I can do this. Alright, I'm actually going to start by... I think I can leave it in there for a bit longer. Hmm... All right, I'm going to start by playing uh, Shrub Seeker. So you get to pick a zone, and then I deal two damage to a beast that's not in that zone. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I picked the Grotto. All right, so I'll do two to Pterodactyl, or, or to Protojammer, rather. Hmm, okay, I will... Not great here. Okay, I'm actually gonna give uh, Anabite some Poofal Dust, so it has Dash now, so it doesn't take an action to move. And I will move Anabite out of the Grotto. Then I will play Barut, and I. I'm actually going to mine with Sneezy. Uh, 
Good if lord. I can afford to do some greed plays, greed plays, good yeah. greed plays. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm going to... So I'm assuming gas station sushi can't be played on an exhausted beast, right? That's correct, yeah. Yeah. Alright, alright. Okay, so I'm going to... I'm going to upgrade Proto Jammer to mm. any bite. Get out of here. Get over here. Alright, okay. so that's three damage to you. I'm assuming one to each of mine. Yes. You don't want to damage your own? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> And then I'm going to attack Sneezy with Paradoctyl. Okay, so that is two magical damage. Yes. Alright, and uh... Oh. Right. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then I th hmm? think I will equip Hmm. One, two, three. Nope, I'm done. There cool. you go. All right. Hmm. Question. Okay. Uh, is yes. negative defense a thing? No, it is not. Cool. Good to know. So that would that would be quite quite <laughs> right. And the the equivalent of negative defense would be like it would say when hit take one additional or two additional or whatever additional damage, right? So so there just, is it, negative defense. There kind there kind of is, but it would have to be in the card text, not actually in the number. And it, it in decreasing the defense below zero doesn't doesn't it can't happen. Okay, that that's what I'm making sure is the deal. Uh, just put them off to the side. You won't be using them. <laughs> okay, um... Oh, I need to de-exhaust these. Alright, I... Man, my guys are pretty roughed up. I'm going to move out Sneezy. And I'm going to upgrade... I'm going to upgrade... I'm going to upgrade my... That's not really good. I'll upgrade this Barut to another Sneezy, and we're ignoring the ability because it's too strong. It already has fine stats, so it's not really a big deal. Yeah, like, those st stats are fantastic. Yeah. Holy I thought cow. The, yeah. Yeah. Um, I swear, every every version of this game has had, like, an OP Sneezy. I love it. <laughs> I know, yeah, it's like, either it just decreases your speed to negative infinity, or, you know, yeah. you just can't win. You need to have the, uh, uh, the, the Drake meme. It's like, Chromanova. Nah. Sneezy? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> huh. This card is getting worse the long... Okay, so I can either cash in now... Alright, I'm just going to cash in now. I'm going to play Nova Blast. And I'm going to use it on your Anabite for four... So I deal one to all of mine. And then your Anabite takes four damage. Four damage? Jesus Christ. Yep. Well, my guys took three. Yeah, but, yeah. Know, not super balanced. No, I think oh, that's I relatively balanced. <laughs> Four damage is a ton, and dealing yeah. three damage is... Yeah. It would have been better if I used it earlier in the game, but I I, th I thought I was just going to hold off. All right, so Antibite is destroyed. It's two stars, so yep. that's two shinies to me. Indeed. Okay, Um. and I will end my turn there. Okay, so just to let you know, I do have to go in 45 minutes. Okay. So whoever... Uh, the game ends yeah. Yeah. Whoever has the most has more if we happen to crystals at six p.m. I, I feel like I feel like our game is gonna go pr a lot faster than uh, than 
past games because yeah. we're very evil. All right. Is that your turn? Yes, that was my whole turn. Hell yeah. Just essentially escaping and waiting for healing to arrive in my hand. Waiting and waiting. Okay, so I am going to... How much health do you have? Oh, they all have six health. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> well, not currently. currently yeah. Well, they're very weak. Um, I might have overestimated how much healing I put in my deck. I thought there was lots, but there might not be any. <laughs> In that case, and I just need to check something in the rules real quick. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Cool. Uh, well. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got a chess piece? Here you go. Yeah, guys. You guys can decide who goes first. It's mighty hard. Your foolish pterodactyl is nothing against my armies. Uh, well, I'm gonna mine with pterodactyl. Cool. Just to grab one. Um, and then I think. Oh, uh, so we're doing a max of six, right? Uh, in your hand, yeah. Draw until you have six. Okay. What was the max we did last time? I don't remember. Uh, it used to be four, but it is six cards in your hand now. Uh, the last game that we played, the two of us. I'm pretty sure it was four as well. Or six, rather. Six as well. Okay. I mean, uh, same thing with up to four copies of a type of card, like four beasts, four specials. Yeah. Yeah, that's something we talked but about. But as for actual cards in your hand, you get to have up to six. Okay. Well, I guess I have to discard something, because if I don't, I'm soft-locked. <laughs> <laughs> Which is an interesting <laughs> thing to happen <laughs> in a game. Okay, I guess I'll use the Thistle Missile then. Okay, who's getting um, hit? I'm going to say that your weakest Sneezy. Uh, oh. Hold on, hold on, oh. hold on. Uh, no, your stronger Sneezy is going to get hit. Really? Yes. What, it's just a spiteful thing to make me have to go and exchange him for three? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, yeah, and that is my turn. All right. Huh. This suddenly is not looking so great. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, the shuffle hotkey uh, is R. <laughs> What's that? Oh dear. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna upgrade my Sneezy to a Sir Greaves since I'm expecting a lot of things to die soon. Oh my. Um. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. It's only for the rest oh. of the turn. Though. So, it's not super great if I destroy my own guys because I can't really attack on your turn. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. I kind of just figured it went by uh, exhaustion rules. Sort of you like... Mean, what hmm? do you mean? Sort of like how when you use Sneezy, you played it on your turn, but like mm -hmm. it took effect on my turn. But, oh, I, I kind of see what you mean. Yeah. Wow, yeah, that so what is it, good. It's, it, well, it's mainly good if you manage to kill something else. Yeah which I can't really do right now. And if I send anything into the grotto, you will just eviscerate it. Mm. So... I never thought of my board getting full of crap creatures. Um... At least you can make your board get full. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Genuinely, uh, I don't know oh, what I'm going to do. Uh, you are thinking of the number six. Of course you are, because six is the best number. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. How could you not be thinking of that? Um, I'm probably not going to be making use of that recently. Okay, I end my turn. 
Okay. Now next turn, that's when it'll be hell to pay. Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Ace, I don't know if you're seeing the chat right now, but uh, being asked for a number of cards. I mean, a number of, uh, just a number. Sorry. He said, okay, seven, cool. All right, I'm going to upgrade Pterodactyl. All right. Yep. Okay, I'd st stop touching Storm stuff. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going to... Oh, I can't give it anything. I can't do anything with it. Okay. Um... Oh, yeah, so uh, if Ace is going first in your game, that means that uh, Tiddly gets to start with uh, two crystals. Can't mine either, so uh, it's the end of my turn. Oh, Mo, this is fantastic. I love it. Yeah, I almost don't want to play anything in that first slot. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, are you all done there? Do you not have any one stars? What's what's your? What, where do you get off? What's no, I, I don't. I literally don't. I'm getting very bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> all right, festive mimic heading on up. I will thistle missile your sneezy. Ooh, man. Um, I have six health. Dang. Um, uh, I will upgrade this Sneezy to Chromanova. Jesus. Oh, eight health? <laughs> He's a big slammer. Did it have eight health before? It did, yeah. yeah. It yeah, actually, it, did. It, it originally had nine health, actually. Well, you, <laughs> the original stats something else. But then again, Turbo doesn't really know how to, it was kind of just camp with the numbers, not really having a game, so it's not really his fault. Um, okay, and... Hmm, yeah, that'll be me. All right. Well, I am going to... What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Oh. It's a trap. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to play Porcelain. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give it a wooden spoon. Oh, by the way, Storm, are you recording your screen or my stream? I'm recording my screen. Cool. It'll be a much better quality. Yeah. Than recording a live stream, you know. For sure. <laughs> All right. It's already compressed. Uh, and then I think I'll... Let's see, I think I'll actually mine with Sneezy. Ooh, greed plays. So I'll take in another one of these. And that's my turn. So All right. There you go. Hmm. All right, I'm going to open with Secret Passage to move up Chromanova. Secret Passage. Essentially, somebody else pays for the move. Yeah, that's interesting. And uh, then very painful sounding. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, let me think here. What do you have back here? You just have a one star back there. Uh, is that? <laughs> this might be. That's kind of stupid, but that that would be a cool combo. Well, Gen 2 said donut, and now I want a donut. We should add donuts into the game. Find space. <laughs> okay, I am going to interfere. Hey, fellas. Hey, Sorry to interrupt, but I have a dilemma. Okay? So, <laughs> Zoe, my sister is, like, face palming. All right. So, uh, my dad, so my dad's renovating this house, right? And he said, hey... Hey Austin, you want to come like help me put up drywall later today? Okay. Because for whatever reason, I'm like surprisingly good at putting up drywall. <laughs> that's your other that's what your other talent. special skill. Yeah, I'm, I'm All right. thinking I'm thinking if I don't go into arts, I'll go into drywalling. Drywalling. Okay. So, so uh, the dilemma. Hold on, um, Jimmy, are you doing what I think you're doing? 
Uh, yeah, so I just played Inner Fury on uh, on Chroma Nova, so I'm going to attack twice into Sneezy for three yeah, magical damage. Yeah, I figured, I figured. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Okay, is... go ahead, Garchompula. Six damage! Oh my fucking god! I can't... The Mega okay. Slam! Yeah. So the dilemma is... Uh-huh. Uh, I, yesterday I was really sore, so I wasn't in the mood to exercise, but okay. I still need to exercise. So, do... Do I go exercise now? But I'm like working on my comic, and I have uh, get on my at comic. Time. Well, what I, what I, although before I get to you, I, I, it might have been helpful to assist in advance, but uh, we we are recording this for YouTube right now. <laughs> yes, we are. Okay, leave your answers in the comments of what okay. you think Austin should do. <laughs> what are your answers wait by then? Get right, that uh, viewer engagement, eh? Are you done with your turn? Um, let's see. Um. Okay, I... we'll post in the group chat then. What should I do? Should I should I exercise or should I go work with my dad? Do both. So vote now on your phones. Let me make this clear, Jimmy. So I'm like squatting while putting up drywall. You yep. <laughs> with these no, cards, <laughs> you were able to one move forward the most powerful beast in the game. Two yes. attack twice with it. Three, summon another card. Yeah. <laughs> That's insane! Uh, That's insane! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just write down, the Chroma Nova Slam is absolute BS in all caps. Inner Fury is so strong. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I did not, I, I don't, I guess it's kind of easy to underestimate how strong doubling's attack is. Yeah. I'm not saying that you should, like, nerf every single card that, like, does a good yeah, play, no, it, but, like... I think we just need to make... Flow. I, I, a lot of cards, I, I I think I just made stuff too fast, to be honest. Like, there's too much... Too many... Because if that... If instead of using Inner Fury, if I use Secret Passage, you would have been able to GTFO in time, right? Yeah, yeah. Or not Inner Fury, or um, the Triple Double Espresso, I mean. Okay, although my Chromanova is now in a bit of a tough spot. Anyways, my turn is over. Uh, so yeah, I'll your Chromanova is dead. I attack with Porcelain. Too. Oh, it has. To, unfortunately, it does have to be in the grotto. I'm sorry. Actually, you know, people keep misunderstanding what range does, so I might just change how range works. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't say uh, in the grotto, so you should add that there. Actually, no. It what it says is this beast can attack, attack targets in your opponent's hideout, okay. and then the attack is um, attack to trigger that attack. You use the fight action. So it says it attacks an enemy beast in the grotto. So I think, but that I'm kind of drowning in technicality here. It definitely yeah. need to, I need to reword that. Anyways, but yeah, it is your turn. That would be pretty cool being able to attack from your own hideout, though. Yeah, it might be a bit. I don't know. It, actually, it might, that might be all right because if they are just kind of weak, it might serve as an interesting comeback mechanism. Where if you're pushed back to your hideout, then you can uh, yeah, get some hits yeah. in. Like your hideout was completely full, and if you had a ranged oh. attacker there, actually, you would you know be able to like. You know, again, in the spirit of playtesting, I am open to changing how range works. So okay. let's say range is hideout to hideout. hideout just for the sake hideout. of testing. That, that's awesome. That's a really yeah. cool card. And looking so at, it, like, the cards that have it, mm -hmm. like, at least from what I've seen, there's nothing that's, like, too powerful yeah. that would be I think Meowdy it. has three physical attacks, so that might be a bit much. Uh, but maybe okay. if we just, if we nerf that to two, I think it's reasonable. Yeah. Speaking of Meowdy, the, uh, yep. the the drawing on the uh, <laughs> oh on... what the <laughs> you need your last haul there, like... partner. M Meowdy Yang, <laughs> Boomer Yowdy. Do they censor Boomer? <laughs> <laughs> do they actually censor Boomer? <laughs> oh my gosh, they do. <laughs> What? However, I think it always uses the exact same symbols. Yeah, it uses the same symbols to censor it each time, so it's kind of like a hash code. You can tell which it is. Oh, oh that's funny. <laughs> anyway, so Storm, yeah, you can attack your, um, you're free to attack Porcelain into Chromanova just to, as okay. a playtesting thing. Wait. They don't censor Zoomer. What the hell? <laughs> wow. <laughs> what is this right, bias? So, uh, yeah, Chromanova is done, and you receive three crystals since it's three stars. Turn the filter oh, on. Oh, cool. Right. Uh, I'll take one of these and put two of these back. Cool. Oops. Okay. Uh, and then I think I will... I like the change to dash, by the way. Yes. Seems very... 
much more useful than like summoning it in and moving mm -hmm. le Im immediately moving it to the front line and exhausting it. Yeah, because a lot of times you actually want to keep it back to like upgrade it or something. Yeah. Like, give it a trinket maybe. Or at uh, least allow it to like wake up. <laughs> you know. Yeah, you know. All right. Um. So I think that I'll play Storm Platy. All right. And then, should I or should I not? Oh my God. I'm going to give it a fishing pole. Oh, interesting. It seems a very niche use, but like, mm -hmm. you know, I want to, to but try it But especially on, if you can use it in on when it's in the hideout, interesting. I might, I think I might make ranged hideout, maybe instead of, I think maybe, oh, let, me, let me draw this, it's kind of confusing. Instead of, because right now, Normal attack is like this, right? Yes. And ranged is like this. Yeah, but we're yeah. saying, well, what if ranged was like this? I'm thinking, what if instead ranged is like this? Yes, like hideout right? to grotto. Yeah, I or think grotto I think, to hideout. Yeah. So the, the, yeah. But the, so yeah. So maybe. So I don't know. I think it'd be better if it would just if it just meant this can attack while it's in the hideout. Mm -hmm. So. Like, wait, can't... we should we should get this. Wait, so should right now? So this this is normal attack. This is old. So actually, there's a couple options for what ranged can do. Yeah. So which of these do you think ranged should be? So obviously this is normal attack. I feel so like which giving of these it, ranged? uh like hideout into grotto or grotto into hideout is good, so but not hideout two. into hideout. Yeah. Yeah, that's too far. That's too far. Yeah. Like okay, that, so that's like across plus, the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. So I think I think I think let's let's go with that. So I will write that down. So ranged uh is. Like plus one range, I guess, is the way you might phrase it. Not very well phrased it. Mm. You could have a keyword called artillery that means like hideout to hideout. That might be. Oh my god! <laughs> Imagine putting yeah. that down. <laughs> oh, oh, that probably is have gross. To, like, <laughs> it would probably have something like after attack, this beast takes one damage or something. Oh okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it like only has a certain number of uses, but it's got that chonky range. Yeah. Anyways, uh, back to what your turn. So yeah, you've just played Storm Platy. Cool. Yep. And then that is my turn. So awesome. Here you go. Rotten bait was a trinket. Uh, it is a trinket. Oh, it used to be a hijinks. But uh, I changed it to a trinket to make it a bit more interesting. Give some support for uh, fighting. Mm hmm. All right. I will give. Uh, I'll give uh, festive mimic a hissing barrel. Ooh, and move up. I gotta stop. I, you know what? I'm heroes like me aren't scared of villains like you. I'm moving up, Sir Greaves, and you can't stop me. <laughs> um, I just play Poto Jammer, so that that's like that. Um, I'll give him a bucket hat to show Ooh. how not scared I am of him being destroyed. Wait, I'm someone's uh, saying Jimmy. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Uh, can I not discard a beast in my hand? Uh, you can dis uh, discarding stuff is is free. You can discard stuff whenever you want. You just don't get to redraw them, so you have to wait till end of your turn to redraw always. With rotten bait. Um, search your beast deck and discard for a beast and add it to your hand. So what? So what? Oh, sorry. It seems that yeah, there's just a bit of a misreading there. What that means is you get to search your beast deck. Sorry, it should say beast deck and beast discard for a beast. So essentially, search all of your beasts over here for a beast, and you get it. Does that help? Oh. So what's is there? No. Uh, well, so if you if you have more than four beasts, then you have to discard. Yes. Um, but if you still have four or less, then you're fine. Can I discard? So you're. So let, let me. I think there might. Yeah. So the way that this works, is you attach this to a beast, right? And when that beast is destroyed, you get to search your deck and discard for a uh, beast deck and beast discard, and add any card from there to your hand. Does that help? Okay. Cool. All right. 
Um, where were we? So yeah, I just moved that up and actually, you know what? I'm not going to put bucket hat. I'm going to put helpful plant for the free heals. And I will end my turn there. Storm is taking a week. Hmm? Oh, Storm's okay. A week. Cool. Oh dear, that is not helpful right now. What awesome card. Mm. Uh, let's see what we've got going on over here. So, seems like that Ace is going for a bit of a, maybe a, oh yeah, he's got the old Healthy Juice Biogator trick set up. Oh, this looks like a Mind Deck. That's solid. Mind Decks are a lot of fun. You just get so many crystals. And then over here, it seems that Tiddly is going for a bit of a trickster slash healing kind of thing, at least from what I can see on the cards on the table. Yeah, it looks like we got some healing. I okay, so you know, don't don't let them know. But in this situation, uh, my my money is I think my money is on Tiddly Minx because can just Tiddly can do a lot better combat. Although with the with the Biogator combo, Ace does have a good shot at putting out the damage. So it's really anyone's game at this point. Uh, no, you can't. That's impossible. <laughs> well, Jimmy's speaking to the audience while actively denouncing the audience. <laughs> Don't say anything bad or they'll unsub from your Twitch channel. Be careful. All right. Okay, Jimmy. Welcome back. Howdy. Oh my gosh, there's stuff on the board. Okay. Helpful there are plant. many goons. <laughs> One hit, this beast heals two. Oh, oh. yes, yeah, sorry. Hip Hypno Days, it has to be an action. And this protogenomer doesn't have any. If it's an action, it'll say action in parentheses. All right. Wait, well, so uh, I thought yeah. Sir Groves had a bucket hat. Oh, I decided to switch it out. If you'd like, okay. I can put it No, that's fine. If I'm cheating. No, that was, <laughs> it was during your turn, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> doesn't matter. Uh, okay, so is that your turn? Yeah, yes, my turn's over. Waste him. Okay, um, I'm going to attack Sir Grease with Storm Platy. Alright, so that is one magical damage. That pops the helpful plant, so he heals two. Uh huh. And that. Oh, I'm bad at math. Okay. That's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> That's a real shame. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay. If you have a shrub seeker right now, you can cause me some chagrin. If I did, yes. You, you, <laughs> you want to buy You would one. be correct. All right. Oh, I could. Hold on. Hold oh, on. Tiddly Hold makes. On you, uh, sorry, sorry, Tiddly makes. You, <laughs> sorry, you have to be in the grotto to mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, that would have been smart. Okay. Would you like to undo? You're fine to do that if you want. Um. Nah. No. Nah, okay. That's good. Okay. And then I'm going to, I need to get this out here. Okay, I'm going to attack Sir Greaves with Porcelain. All right, that's three magical damage. Okay. And then I'm going to put down 
Oh, and by the way, you did play. You did attack with Storm Platy, so you do have your fishing pole available if you're interested. Right, right. Uh, if you are super slick, you can move up your porcelain and destroy my anabite. But that... I wouldn't tell you that. <laughs> no, I, I wouldn't be able to. No? Because it's exhausted it's right now. Oh, I see. And if I right. moved it up, it would be <laughs> very vulnerable. Perhaps. It's not like it has two health or anything. Got... <laughs> yeah. Um, but I would like to drag your anabite into the grotto. Oh, dear. That's problematic. Indeed. Okay, and then I better get some taunt guys. I am all set. Cool. All right, I am going to open by. Um, I'm gonna upgrade festive mimic to lizard wizard, so it gets to copy a uh, ally's summon ability. So I'll copy anabites. Ooh. Hit him with that slam. Clever. Then. Hmm. Uh, let's see. I still. So that was that was my first action. I guess I will give Sir Greaves his bucket hat, and mine with Anabite. Okay. Nice. Oh, this one's fun. Uh-oh. <laughs> you just drew something so, interesting? Uh, t yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, um... Star count... Yeah, so star count only matters for upgrading beasts. Whenever you mine, you always get exactly one crystal, regardless of the star count. It used to be that stars was crystals, but we changed that. Star uh, if your opponent destroys it, they get one crystal for each star. So. And uh, speaking of destroying it, mm -hmm. I'm going to attack oh. Porcelain... Uh, sorry, I'm going to attack Sir Greaves with Porcelain. All right, so that is two magical damage, and that puts it over. Yes. Dang it. All right, three crystals to you. Dang it. Rattle bones. Okay. Rattle bones? Rattle, it's like a darn hecarune. Oh, okay. Aw, shoot. Craps. I, if I remember correctly, there's an ability called rattle bones, right? There is? Was there? No, uh, I, remember su I remember I suggested like a skeleton snake that yes, was a top yes, head named did. rattle bones. <laughs> yes. Oh. Okay, that, that's the connection I had. <laughs> the reason I remember is because there was a... Uh, Enemy very early on in Wizard 101, a boss who's oh. named Rattlebones. <laughs> That's funny. Yes. It's a clever game. Okay, so I need to rotate this dude. Rotate. Wait, it already exists? Uh, a skeleton in Rattlebones? Oh, okay, it's a skeleton. Yeah, it's just a, like a skeleton soldier. Thing. Okay, uh, yeah, I was worried that this... That like a bone snake already existed. I got really worried. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure bone snakes do exist, considering snakes yeah, have bones are in real life. Yeah, but none are called rattle bones. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to move, move it, move it. I'm going to move it, move <laughs> it. Because I, I can't actually. Hmm. <laughs> Mm, man. You can't just keep firing with your ranged guys. Yeah, yeah. But see, I don't want to, like, stay in the back line the entire time. I want I want to start getting into that... I want to get that I grotto. <laughs> get that gr Grab that grotto <laughs> grab dealer's that grotto. <laughs> <laughs> Um. It does have that, which is handy need to do that so um yeah i suppose i'll attack any bite with storm platy all right so that is one magical damage and i think i'd like to will you be yoinking a protojammer or one of your own into the grotto with the fishing I rod i will be yoinking one of my own surely oh. not no i'm not i oh. i sneezed and missed Yes, I sneezed. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Uh, okay. Yes, zero with yes, zero with double strike. You can attack two different beasts. I think uh, double strike it attacks twice instead of once. Yeah, I should actually. I, I'll add that to the clarification. Uh, double strike can hit two. Lovely. All right, and then I think that's 
all for now, folks. I'm not going to use my fishing pole ability. Unless I were to do that. Which could be interesting. Oh, wow. Zero is doing a big combo. What's Zero up to? He's, he's, uh, he is uh, mining with Biogator, Ooh. which uh, activates healthy <laughs> juice, which heals Biogator. And then he used uh, Inner Fury to give it double strike, so he gets two <laughs> free attacks. God. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry, Tiddly Minx. Yeah. That that's a good one. That's that's one of my favorite combos. Wow. Wait. Healthy juice. Okay. Right, um, I actually we? am going to pull Proto Jammer into the grotto. Oh, really? Just for fun. And that's my uh, my 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 oh my. No, I Yep. I'm all set. There you go. All right. Okay, let's play one of my... F I'm going to start uh, start my turn by playing one of my favorite cards. Pass it around. Oh. So I heal one health to a beast, then you heal one to a beast, and then, we can, and then I can decide to do that after two more times. So yeah. I'm going to heal one to Anabite, yep. and now you get to heal one to one of yours. Uh -huh. I will be repeating it, so I'll heal one from Anabite. Uh-huh. And then I'll repeat it one more time, and you've got nothing left to heal, and the card's Clever, done. clever, clever. I like that. <laughs> that's bad. That one's a lot of fun. I love that one. That is, that's right. a really, I saw that and I was like, oh, I can't wait to use this. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm, then I'm going to play the mother load. So remember events now end <sighs> at the end of my next turn. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> my God. So thanks for the pro No, my, oh, holy I'm having shit. <laughs> Holy shit, wait, five? Yeah, three, one, one two, two, three, four, five. <laughs> wait, ho hold on. I, yeah. My. Oh, Proto Jammer applies. Has a mine ability built in. Applies to all? No, 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 just itself. So, so I mine with Proto Jammer, it gives me one plus one plus one. Then this one I mine with one plus one. Oh, so five. So gotcha. three and two. So gotcha. that's five. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Mother load is a bit of a win condition. Yeah, Jesus All right, Christ. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, oh, sorry, I'm getting jimmied. Uh, do double strikes add into one, or are they separate? Uh, they are separate. So they uh, defense is applied separately. Okay, um, and then that is my turn. Okay. Oh, and I was, I meant to discard these. It does. Oh, I love that sludge. <laughs> this is great. Oh, man. I really want to use that mother load, but I, I can't. Mm hmm. Can't. Shame. Damn. Okay. Oh, yeah, so every attack has to do at least one damage. Okay. okay where were we? So I'm going to upgrade my Storm Platy mm -hmm. into a Birthday Basher. Oh. And All then right. I'm going to attack Christ. any bite what? with porcelain. Jeez. All right. Is that four? That is four damage. That is four well. damage, which should take it out. <laughs> All right. So you see about two crystals for that. Yes. How are we tied after my mother load play? What? Um, and then I need to read this real quick. Okay. Uh, oh, it doesn't specify. Playing events on top of events. Can multiple events apply at the same time? Yes, as many as you like. Fuck. Okay. That could that might be an interesting change though. I might consider uh overwriting events. I kind of like the stacking though. Yeah, it is I think it is interesting. You can do some interesting stacking stuff. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, if if you think mother load is ridiculous, have you seen survival games? No, I didn't. Is survival that a special games card? Is, 
It is an event. Uh, the way it works is that uh, when the event ends, the player who played it gets two crystals for every beast they have in the grotto. Mm. But while the event while the event is active, all of your opponent's beasts have plus two attack. <laughs> oh Survival games. Yeah, I see it. I see it. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a good thing it's a master. Holy cow. Yeah. That is so cool. <laughs> so if you can survive in the grotto, because yeah, you in the grotto. Yeah. Also, a crystal reactor seems insane. Yeah. That doubles your turn, basically. Yeah, but but remember, three for every single... I think about actually the crystal count might be a bit too high. Um, too I'm not really high. sure. It hasn't, I, haven't, I haven't seen... Because right now, because you give three to your opponent, right? So it's essentially a difference of six, right? To lose three, they get three. I think I have an um, old version of the special cards pulled up. Because it only says one. Oh, actually, I, I actually I thought it was two OP, so I, I nerfed it, but I haven't actually tried it yet, so I, I mm. probably shouldn't have just nerfed it on a feeling like that. Oh, uh, twenty crystals, yes. Um, oh, I can actually condense Ooh. these five. Once you, once you have ten crystals, you're a cool kid. I, oh, here to give me them. <laughs> <laughs> I win, I guess. <laughs> oh, yay! Wahoo! Okay. Right, uh, was that your turn? You you uh, attacked once and then played them, right? Yes. I'm cool. I am trying to figure out. I was saying yes, I did attack once. Oh, yada yada. But oh, I am trying to figure out if I want to use a card. But I don't think. I oh, it do. looks like the ace has to leave. Oh. Uh, Mubergine or Gentoo, would one of you like to follow an ace's steps, perhaps? It's fine if not. It's you can just call the game there. But if one of that was a great chance. Anyways, uh, go ahead, uh, Storm. Okay. So, if we're not going to do that, then I think I'll pass and then just get you next turn. Cool. All right. Yep, all set. Awesome. All right. So, I'm going to open... Um, you know, it's time for greed strats. I figured. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I can't. Wow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Yeah, moving up that proto gemmer was a very bad move. Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, so Mo or Gentoo? Um, Mo, are you the one who's going to be playing? Looks like that, that Mo said. All right. Mo, you're in the hot seat. Good luck. It looks like it is uh, your turn, Mo. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Anyway, so yeah, but that is that is my turn. Oh, let me unmute myself. All right. Here we go. Hey, where am I? Uh, you are currently <laughs> attempting to destroy Tiddly Mink's endless army. Am I winning? Oh, I'm winning. For now. Okay. For now. I'm no- oh, God, I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to attack Proto Jammer with Porcelain. <laughs> I figured. <laughs> 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 yeah, Proto Gemma might be uh, the, that that uh, mine effect. I think I just might make it just a normal good stat minion. Okay, that's it. Oh, yeah, the mine effect yeah. is good though. Okay. Like it, it's 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 Let's... it's interesting. I need a maybe a health. I don't yeah. know. I'll, I'll just write write its name in. All right. So I've got another crystal. So. And your Proto Jammer is out of here. You should all have minus two Ouch. defense. Uh, then... Your your porcelain is giving me a lot of trouble right now. <laughs> yeah, and then I'm going to move up. Birthday, Basher. Don't know if that was the right move or not, but that's what I did. Okay. There you go. All right. Well, they've currently got uh, 17, so I'm nearly there. Um. All right, I will start with a Shrub Seeker. Okay. So uh, pretty much you can just choose who is getting hit, Birthday Basher or Porcelain. Uh, birthday Basher. <laughs> All right. Yep. And Otherwise, my beautiful, beautiful <laughs> Porcelain will be gone. <laughs> Nova Blast! And then mine! No! <laughs> All right, Birthday Basher is toast, no. and I get two crystals for destroying it. 
<laughs> you fool. You couldn't you couldn't make the shot. Damn, that is good. Okay, so I'll put this. Alright. Right well All right. that was So I've, I've quite still a got game. a comeback. Come uh, I have twenty crystals. Oh, I thought we were playing until six o'clock. Oh, sure. Go ahead. Uh, that's totally fine. I mean, you're seven crystals ahead, so I don't think you should be too worried about losing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, in that case, uh, I guess I'll play Dragospa's Mother action. Okay. Um. Cool. All right. So I'm going to. I don't see how I could win. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. I'm interested to see how the game is going to work with constructed decks where you like build in combos and all that. Yeah. Okay, you know what? I think 20 crystals is a perfectly fine number to go to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There's nothing I t I can do to get seven crystals in the yeah. next five minutes. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, GG. Yep. That was that was a very that was a that was an interesting. Game. That was a that was a yeah, good combo I, at the end. If you had gotten some more value out of that porcelain, you would have just started tearing me apart. Oh, I think I got plenty of value out of that porcelain. <laughs> Holy cow! It took out like three different beasts all yeah, by I itself. Think, I think I think ranged might have to go on on higher star stuff because a one star one star yeah. tear, taking apart all those beasts is a bit much. Yes, exactly, exactly. But it would... <sighs> yeah. I think it just needs to go on higher star beasts um, and just keep having kind of lowish health. Yes, yeah. Um, but um, having low health does incentivize the player keeping it in the hideout. Yeah, that's the, well, that's the idea, I guess. So then... Because, I mean, that's how you get value out of the range, right? Although, I guess you could move it up to... I guess we have options. Yeah. We have options, yeah. It's kind of tough because, like... I mean, I guess there are so many cards, and with, you know, you can counter it with other ranged beasts or the wide variety of item cards out there that like. Yeah, and there's also damage. just instant damage. Like, like if you had if you had um chosen instead of birthday basher, if you had if you had chosen to protect birthday basher, then that that one card would have done it. Oh, I right? know, I know. Birthday basher porcelain wooden spoon. That's a that's a really good combo, right? Four magic damage every turn, but that at the same time, it's also a fragile combo. And I think I think that's kind of interesting because it means that. You, you get that moment of satisfaction, but it, you don't just roll the game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so yeah, why don't we, I guess we just do some kind of general feedback. Anything that you feel about the game? Well, I really fucked up by pulling in Proto Jammer. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, that, that let me get way more than I should have. But the, uh, the Mother Load is mm -hmm. it's an interesting event. Yeah. Yeah. I don't... Hypothetically, the, the maximum value from it is two crystals per player, but if you use it at the right time, that's worth two crystals? Well, the maximum value from it is... I mean, depending on what items oh, wait, you have. Or, oh, right, and the items you have, right. Yeah, and if you've got and that Proto the, Jammer out there. Yeah, and for the player who plays it, I guess it's four crystals because they can use it twice. Yeah. So, hmm. like, you, you got five That's crystals each turn. Yeah, I think I think Mother Load might need to... I, I think I'm going to keep the Spirit, but just make it a bit softer. Yeah. Like, if, if you're playing to 20 crystals, you've won half the game with yeah. that one fact, card in yeah. two turns. <laughs> yeah, I think I think what it's going to be is it's going to be when the event ends, whoever has more beasts in the grotto gets, like, a flat, like, two crystal reward or something. Because it still has the... Because oh. the spirit of this is in encouraging you to fight for the grotto, right? And, like, yeah. kick your opponent out. This is like, a, this is like your, your control, control deck kind of loot, right? I think even um, changing it to one... I don't only know. one crystal, I don't like know. only maximum one bonus per turn or something. Well, well that's what I was thinking, but like, mm -hmm. would that be strong enough? Like, mm -hmm. you might as well. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. It's a really cool idea for a card, though. I love mm -hmm. all these new, like, cards and abilities and descriptions. Really creative stuff. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. Well, all I'm right. going to head off. Awesome. And I want to say, Storm, you were talking a while ago about wanting to build your own deck, and the, the tabletop, uh, the actual, the mod is actually um, updated. So if you okay. want to build your own deck, you can find all the cards there, and uh, and then we can we can spawn it in. And I've actually, I, I have four, the six constructed decks you saw earlier, and I'm, I'm curious to try two combo-heavy decks, you know, kind of constructed against each other. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, thanks so much for, for playing, Storm. Thanks for recording. Um, I'll, uh, yeah. 
Uh, save the recording and I'll send mm -hmm. it to you probably tomorrow. Cool. Going to be pretty yeah. busy for the rest of today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I guess I'll just I'll just take it, probably edit out the part that we're talking about right now, and uh, edit into a video. All right, sweet.